Okay, so just wanted to go over some basics of traffic shaping with PFSense. Now that they've integrated a wizard into their traffic shaper, it's very easy to set up. So I just wanted to run over the basics. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is run a speed test to determine the actual speed that you're getting on site. You should do this when there's not a lot of traffic on the network. Uh, just so you can get a, a, a really good idea of what you're actually getting. So here I have 107 download and 20 upload, which is about what I'm expecting from the ISP. So I'll go ahead and log into the PFSense here. Uh, And the first thing we're going to want to do is jump in here and set up an alias. Uh, that's because we're using multiple IPs as the phone systems. So here I'm just going to call this alias guy switch. And I'm going to add a couple other IPs here. Uh, so the main IP that we're going to be using in this case is going to be Dallas. Uh, it's 7598 uh, And then New Jersey is going to be 70, 42, 44, 15. And finally, we have our Minnesota. So we're just going to save that. If you've been in PFSense before and a lot of other router manufacturers have this, they at least just allow you to reference multiple things with a single name. Uh, so now we're going to go into Traffic Shaper. Uh, in Traffic Shaper we're going to click on Wizards and I only have one LAN and one WAN here uh, so I'm just going to be using the dedicated links Traffic Shaper Wizard dedicated and click Next. Uh, so the local interface Everything here is as it should be, uh, land there. We want to use HFSC as the type of shaping. Uh, the upload 20 and I was showing 100 on the download. Now, some people like to go a little bit less than, than what you show on a speed test. Uh, just to get more accurate, you don't want to be uh, holding off bandwidth limitation that you don't actually have. Uh, so, so basically what I'm saying is that if your upload is set at 20 and you're actually only getting 15 at the time you don't want that first however much percent held off uh, because you actually wouldn't be getting any shaping at that time I'm pretty confident with my results and speed test I, I, I've done them frequently and I always have gotten about the same results so I'm gonna go with this now we want to obviously enable voice over IP prioritization uh, and the upstream server here is where we're going to use that alias. Uh, and then how much you want to to hold off. So this is going to depend on the amount of phones you have and what codecs you're using. Uh, there's only two phones on site here right now and I'm just going to go a little bit overboard without having to do any calculations. I, I don't really know what codecs I'm going to be using probably G711 most of the time. Uh, I'm not going to enable a penalty box. Uh, and then the rest of the options you can read through if you want to prioritize or deprioritize anything else. Like you can deprioritize uh, torrent traffic here or gaming traffic. And then just some network traffic. So, so there's other things here that you can prioritize or deprioritize. And that's all there is to setting up the traffic shaper now. Uh, so it's going to reload. Uh, and then to be sure that the traffic shaper is active, we just want to go into the queue stats. Uh, the queue stats are going to show us several queues. We have the, the queue VoIP queue is the one we're worried about here. And right away you're probably not going to see any movement on the queue I do have about a kilobyte of a kilobit of traffic going on here so it looks like it's already going but normally uh, what you're going to want to do here is just reset the states of the firewall uh, your your phones are not going to update to the to 
using the actual queue until their connection refreshes. So it's easier just to reload the states. This is usually going to take about a minute. Uh, but then we can jump right back into the queue when we're done and check it. Okay. So under status and queues, now uh, we see this. So all I have going on right now is registration, so I don't expect to see much. If I were to do a call, I would expect this to jump up with the amount of bandwidth for the actual call. All right, that's all there is to traffic shaping on this PF Sense box. Thanks for watching.